What's shaking automotive pandas? Peter Mopanda here. I just bought this automatic battery charger. It's for six and 12 volts, 1.5 amps. I put my prowler up for the winter and always put it on a battery tender. I've shown you uh, some of those in the past. I have a black and decker one that I use right now and it works great, but I thought I'd check this one out because it also got pretty good reviews, as you can see here. But uh, I think that says Leicester but it also got good reviews and was equally as inexpensive. And so for 15 bucks, if you're looking for a battery tender, you know, I think this could be a pretty good one. You do have a little manual here in English as well as other languages. We have a non-grounded two prong outlet here, as you can see, and, and this is where all the brains of the operation are. So what we have here is the automatic battery charger kind of status panel. So you can see it's a it's a pretty big, you know, it's kind of no bigger than like a laptop charging block, but uh, everything is on it here. And what we have is a little raised mode button there. You can feel it. So that's gonna click and that's going to uh, toggle, I believe, between your 12 volt and your six volt. So that's gonna indicate what you're charging and that's how you're going to manually control it. Looks like we have uh, an error message here in the triangle. Um, and then a couple of battery icons. This one looks like it's a green arrow up. So it, I think it'll, once you connect it, it'll probably be charging. Now, if you look at this end, we've got a plenty of cord, hopefully. And then we have one of these uh, pretty standard connectors. Now it comes with a couple of different uh, plugs here. So one, this one looks like just an extension cord. So basically this will kind of just extend the length of it, which I actually think I might need. So that's nice that it has that. And then this one is kind of a permanent installation tender. So you can put this on your battery terminals. You gotta, you see here, they go through the screw. Uh, these wouldn't be wide enough to go around the terminal on a car battery. So you would uh, put this in the screw portion, kind of in between the clamp. So you could kind of tear these apart here a little bit and then put those on. And that way you'll have this piece always hanging off. You could cap it up when you're going out for a ride. This is great for, uh, you know, cars that you're driving or bikes or RVs or, you know, other toys like ATVs or whatever that you put away and store regularly, right? So that you would have this attached, you could pull this out, unplug this, plug it into the tender and be off to the races. Now, you know, in the summer, and I don't usually plug in my tender, uh, it's only when I put the car away for several months. And so I use the alligator clamps here, which you can see are pretty small, nice construction, solid plastic. You can see here, we've got the metal clamps in side the plastic there, so you don't have to worry about shocking yourself. Looks like we'd still have to split these a little bit. And then we have a fairly long cord, I'd probably say about a foot, foot and a half. And then, but I would plug this into this permanently, probably with that extension piece, to be honest. And then usually when I'm putting the car away, I just pop the hood, put these on the battery, then kind of just lower the hood, put the car cover over or whatever, and know it's being taken care of. I take this sucker out to the garage and see if we can maintain my prowler for the winter. Let's try it. So one of the great things about the Plymouth Prowler is the battery is right up front and center, right in the nose there, and the terminals are really easy to get to. So let's go ahead and plug it in. So I've got the tender here, extension cord plugged in, and now I think the process for this is you actually plug it into the outlet first. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that, make sure we're on the right mode and whatnot. and everything's lighting up. Looks like we're on the 12 volt mode right there, which is perfect. So now I'm gonna take the alligator clips and get this plugged on to the car. And per the instructions here, what I wanna do is connect this sucker to the positive terminal first. I'm just gonna plug that on there. And then the negative terminal, your black. I'm gonna plug that on to that terminal. Now let's go back and see what the tender says. And I hear it whirring a little bit. Looks like we're in the greens on everything. 12 volts, it's blinking, and that means it's maintaining, I believe. Uh, you can see there that the little up arrow is on, which means I believe it is, uh, it's also less than fully charged, which is great news. So I think that's it. The nice thing about this thing is all the work is being done on the plug here. As you can see, it's very small, as opposed to having something else that's in line with the, the line. But hopefully now I can rest easy knowing that my car is being maintained, that the battery is not being neglected, and, you know, 
when I fire this sucker up, when the weather breaks, I should be able to go out for a ride. Awesome. I will put a link to it in the description. This one is cheap, and that was also a really big advantage. If you want to pick one up for your toys, Peter Von Band out.